Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. Yes, we got some great, great news in the news world today. This is again about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle because their Spotify deal has actually collapsed. So that Archetypes um, podcast that Meghan was hosting has now been cancelled because stated by Spotify themselves is saying the production wasn't up to it. So they weren't making enough episodes to keep them on the payroll. So they actually cancelled the contract they ended up settling a probably for an undisclosed fee at the moment to just cancel the show and go their separate ways because Spotify is definitely cutting down on the shows that they don't want to keep on who are not providing ratings for them. So according to The Sun, Spotify was looking to drop any content not meeting audience demands, a policy which appears to have also claimed former First Lady Michelle Obama's podcast, which was dropped last year. So you can see here, so the deal was originally... 29 million dollars which is a lot of money i mean they made 100 million dollars on the netflix show that they made harry i think made 10 million dollars as a down payment for his uh, book as well spare so i mean they've made a lot of money and the whole thing about what they're making money of is complaining about his family isn't that like the lowest of low to make money is just to complain about your own family and that's why i keep saying that he's like a child stuck in a, in a man's body where he's still stuck in that little age where he's a teenager and he's wants to rebel against his parents and he wants to you know fight back against the system because he's still a little teenage boy acting like a child instead of accepting that look i'm an adult now act like an adult don't just complain about everything i mean you're 40 years old like when when will you grow up now there's also been speculation that netflix is also going to cancel any future shows of him I mean, they already cancelled before the show even took place was that show Pearl, which Megan was actually supposed to produce, which was like an animated series and it got cancelled, which, which was very good to see. As you can see here, yet again, The Sun, a source has said that there is a less friendly attitude towards the Sussex deal from some of the top at Netflix. Because, I mean, it's $100 million they paid for it. The feeling is that the lemon has been fully squeezed and the big bucks Harry and Megan signed in for it do not exist today. As you can see here, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle labeled as effing grifters by Spotify executive Bill Simmons after the deal ended. I 100% agree. Now, this is a language warning for you. So this is him saying about, you know, disliking him, really. Let's just I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the fucking grifters. That's a... <laughs> so that's on the Bill Simmons podcast, even saying he wishes he was part of the deal to get rid of him. Now, this is one of the members from the Suits cast as well, which is from the, taking this clip from George the Giant Slayer, who's ab absolutely a good YouTube channel as well, if you want to watch something different. Have a look at what she had to say about Megan. Like, jive with her. And somebody said, like, she's just not somebody you can be friends with. But you never actually get to know this person. Like, you can't touch her. You can't get through the glass. These women. Women have everything and they want everything. Sounds exactly just like a total narcissist who wants everything and is always correct and always has to be the center of attention, right? Exactly like old Meghan. Prince Harry has also been slammed for using his HRH, so his Royal Highness title in UK court. This was from May 24th. As you can see below here, he wrote it in the actual application HRH, the Prince Henry Charles Albert David. And it's good, people are calling him out on this as well. So in the judgment issued last year, when the Queen was still alive, Harry was identified as the Duke of Sussex instead of HRH. So it just shows you, now that the Queen is dead, he disrespects her by using this again. Now on that, let's have a look at this. This wasn't going to work out, then we would be willing to relinquish our Sussex titles if need be. So that was... That was the plan. That was the plan. Now, just to point out a couple of things that the reason why I'm so glad that they lost that contract to Spotify, you can see here, a photo used in a trailer for Prince Harry and Markle's Netflix documentary was fake. So this was not even from the paparazzi following them. This was actually from a Harry Potter movie. Now, this one here as well, you can see here, this was actually not from it either. So following the accusations of fake footage in the first trailer, the new trailer for the Netflix and Harry documentary appears to use footage of Katie Price leaving Crawley Magistrate Court to suggest a mob of paparazzi hounding Harry and Meghan. So you, you can see it's just so fake that this they also used in their trailer to promote the show. 
You can see here more fake. Wow, it's a helicopter in the air. Wow, it, they definitely must be trying to take pictures of you guys that high up in the sky. Oh, she's waking up. What is this? Oh my god, we're just circling. What is wrong with these people? Tom Sykes reveals today that Megan tipped the police off, tipped the drone, uh, the paparazzi off, where she could be found. She wanted her privacy invaded. As you can read there, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle whined about the photographers flying over their sprawling California mansion in the final drop of the Netflix documentary series. But what the outspoken royal renegades failed to disclose was they leaked their own whereabouts to the media. Isn't it funny? They, they live in like a make-believe world, right? Where they think everyone wants to know what they're doing and, you know, all the paparazzi want to see them. And in reality, we know most people just want to see them fail, if anything. Whatever the cause, my memory is my memory. It does what it does, gathers and curates as it sees fit. And there's just as much truth in what I remember and how I remember it as there is in so-called objective facts. I've never heard such a lot of bullshit in my life. It's just a sad thing too, right? Is that Harry has to drag his ex-girlfriend now in this current court case that he just went through. He has to drag her back into it again. I mean, she's moved on. She's had a kid. She's also married as well, and he has to drag her back into the tabloids just for his own namesake again, which is kind of sad in my opinion. She's moved on. Just let her move on. So a $1 million bombshell in Prince Harry's lawsuit over the hiring of the UK cops as personal security. This is where he asked to still be able to use the HRH so he can actually pay or use the police as security in the UK for whenever he comes back. So the course of this has cost the taxpayers in the UK more than one million pounds. His bid to hire a UK police guard costs 502,000. He aims to overturn that verdict later this year and the cost will likely also spiral over 500,000 pounds. In May, he lost his latest legal bid over the security after being slammed for trying to use the Met Police as private security for the wealthy. Home office officials are understood to be furious at the spiraling costs he is forcing on them. I agree, why? Does the taxpayer have to keep freaking paying this just for you to try and get personal security? Hire your own security firm. Astonishingly, Harry has only returned less than £10,000 in court costs. The Sun's Freedom of Information request shows that for last month's case, British taxpayers are left out of pocket by £492,000. That is just absolutely ridiculous. This dude is costing you as a taxpayer in the UK more money than he has ever ever brought into the country and then on his tv show on netflix he still has the guts to call out uk people and make them seem like they were racist and bad people it is yeah astonishing and just to finish it Meghan markle became arrogant towards suits co-stars when she met harry orpha claims of course just because she thinks that she is now above you because she now is dating someone who is a prince now suddenly she thinks that she's better than people just because she marries someone. Isn't that a bit shameful? Like, shouldn't you be a better person instead of trying to be someone that you're marrying, right? But anyway, I'll end it on that one there. Please let me know what you thought about the video today in the comments below. Are you glad that their Spotify deal got cancelled? Because, praise the Lord, I am very, very happy that they lost that deal. It was the most boring and horrible show I've ever, ever watched. I think I listened to one episode... And I nearly wanted to gouge my eardrums out. But let me know below in the comments. Like the video too if you liked it. And subscribe as well to see future videos. Thank you for watching.